Hello, hello YouTube, and welcome back to another wonderful episode of Timberborn. Where I got a little crazy. By a little crazy, I mean a lot crazy. By a lot crazy, I mean a lot crazy. And even more crazy. And even more crazy. And all the insanity was had to this day. <laughs> well, for the most part. I, I planned some stuff out, okay? I figured it would be a good use of my time and a better use of your guys' time to not let uh, things go a little too long, if you will. I did nothing, like, massive as far as the build was concerned. I, I left the build off where it was the last time you guys were here. I let that hold off in the background. I let that hold off. I, I just planned that out. I didn't let them build any of that. The only thing that I did was maybe expand some forestry uh, a little bit. Okay, we were running out of logs. By that, I mean we weren't necessarily running out of logs. It was just I felt like we were constantly running out of logs and planks and all the things. So I expanded the things a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. A little bit more in the way of, uh, you know, oak here, oak here, oak here, oak there, oak there, or oak there, oak everywhere. And I expanded the maple production as well because that seemed to be holding us up a little bit as far as the production of all of our catalyst was concerned. So, I did some small things in the background, okay? You don't have to be too concerned about it. Oh, I did put this in. I felt that this was kind of necessary. I thought it was kind of cool looking. You know, you got the dual forester here. You got the little Litos in here. You got the showers, you know. You got the food. You got... And then you got the trees that surround it. You know, all the rest of the bots are working in the background. And then the bio beavers are back here, you know, just lounging in the pool side. Nah, it's fine. They're doing great things. And, of course... We got pine moving. I expanded the pine production a little bit. Pine resin production a little bit. This is working over here fairly well. I finally got the mine up and running on this end. So that got accomplished. And, uh, well, this side's basically... The only job that this side does now is just run the mine. That's all that's happening on this side. That's all these uh, district crossings are doing is just feeding the required material into the mine and whatever's needed to keep the bots alive in there running. So that's, I think I do need to throw in some punch cards. Oh, speaking of punch cards, I expanded that a little bit. So I added a few extra places there, a few extra places here. I built on top of this whole situation in here. So that, that got a little bit out of hand. I, I was like, I need production. I need it. I need it now. I needed it yesterday. And well, uh... When you're sitting here for six hours trying to just wait for all of the materials to get delivered because, well, it, it takes a long time for all of the metal get, to get processed. It takes a long time for all the wood to grow. It takes a long time for all the wood to be processed into planks and so on and so forth. And to be delivered, which is why this has expanded just a tad bit. Oh, and I have this prep for, for an explosion, so... Uh, look forward to that here in a few seconds. I, I did forget to prime them, so that's on me. But uh, once that's ready to go, we'll get the nice little explosion. I put this in because I put this in. Because you can't really have buildings submerged in order to keep them working. I put all this in here on this side. This is I'm going to break this district off. I've got all of the materials I think I'll need for a jump start on the production of this side of the uh, the giant bridge, if you will. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Now this, I don't have quite enough. I think I've got about 1,700 each of the <laughs> of the logs, planks, and uh, metal blocks that are required in order to get up to about here-ish, maybe here-ish. But I'm thinking by the time that they facilitate the building of all of this stuff, the district crossing should keep up with the demand uh hopefully if not then we'll just break the district crossings down 
I've put them over here. I, I'm separating this district off because I, I, I figured hopefully it'll move things a little bit faster. I'm not entirely sure. But I have been yapping for way too long. Let's check out what's going on in the lives of the Timberborn. Or the Z Beavers. All right, yeah, uh, let's check out how the Z Beavers are doing. Yeah, let's do that thing. So let's get out of this uh, view. Let's zoom in here. Let's pause the game real quick because I do, do want to explode this. I do like a good explosion in the morning. And I'm sure that you guys do too, even though it is technically the evening for me. Because again, I've been playing this for a long time today. All in the effort of getting us into a position where things make sense. And you guys can enjoy some action as opposed to just, you know, watching me do all the silly things. And let's watch this explosion as my computer tears itself apart. <laughs> Oh, I can just feel it. I just feel it. Oh, it hates it so much. Okay. It's almost done. It's almost done. It's not almost done. It is so close to being done. It hates it so much. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Sorry. Maniacal laughter over. Uh, that makes me feel better. So... We shouldn't have any flooding issue in the future. This should not spill over into this work area. If it does, then we have a little catch here for a little excess. I can put in some dams here that should alleviate some of that. Uh, some of those issues in the future if that arises. But let's go ahead and do the unthinkable. Let's check this out. So I've got 1,800 logs, 1,500 metal block. Or sorry, 1,500 metal blocks and about 1,600 planks. I think that's about ready for that. And I've got a fair amount of catalyst in here. Plenty of punch guards. Let's go ahead and break this off here. So that's going to be that line right here. And that should be pretty simple. I put all of these in. These are already in position. Pretty much stocked. Ready for that to be turned on. For these to be turned on. So let's go ahead and connect that up like that. And I think I need to tear this path out right here. Otherwise, they'll continue to make their way up. I don't want to make sure that they're not... Oh, they're filling it up a little bit more. That's so nice of them. Thanks, guys. I've been watching and waiting for them to come up here and actually fill these things in for so long. Like They sat at like 400 units for the longest time, and I couldn't figure out why. And I built one of the other... Um, one of the other piles, underground piles over here, and they started filling that up like almost immediately. So I'm not sure if there's a a priority line or a uh, a priority of like when you placed or told them what priority was when and where. I'm not entirely sure, but let's go ahead and unmark these and start transferring some of our bots over here. Now I do have an abundance of hauler bots and builder bots in, in here, so I will be pulling from those. I'm pretty sure that I have those already marked down for the lowest priority. Yeah, those are the lowest. I think that's uh, this side. Let's see here. Let's unpause all of this and unpause all of this. Pop these over to bot. The same here. Drop this down to two. Drop you down to two, and then turn you guys on on this side. I'm not sure if I want to do bots on this side. We'll do four, four, and two, and two. Hopefully that's enough. Let's actually pause that, because I need to make sure I manage distribution appropriately, so they're not bringing in unnecessary material. So we're going to go ahead and turn off all of the things. Turn on that, 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 that and logs are down here and then i also would like to bring in catalyst and that should be everything that we need on this side of the district so now we can unpause things let things run as they need to and check out how many of the bots that we need to pull over so it looks like we need 20 bots we'll go ahead and pull them over now that's going to leave us a nice little deficit on this side not entirely sure where that all pulled from. I think it probably pulled from a lot of our hauling posts. 
which should not cause too much of an issue. We can just go ahead and turn a few of those positions off and let things ride out as necessary. Now, I'm pretty sure that I'm at a position where I can hold off on the majority of the building on this side of the uh, map right now. Oh, I did forget to mention that I put in this wonderful staircase. It looks janky, like really janky, but I wanted to give a, give us access to each of these individual levels one way or the other, and I'll probably build a stairwell on this side somewhere as well. So that gives us access to each of the individual ports here, and then once uh, we get in here and start building up the the housing areas, the, the entertainment areas and districts, that's something that they can actually work on in there and have access to uh, throughout the time. Now, I did finally come up with an idea as to what I wanted to do up here. First off, I'm really upset that I built it too high. Cannot be built at this height. It does not fit. It's too big. It's too tall. It's exceeding the build boundaries, the height boundaries for the map, which is very upsetting to me. So it's like, how do, what do I, what am I going to do with all this wonderful real estate that I have up here? And I thought, you know what? I have an idea as to what I want to do up here. So what we could do and what I plan on doing is go ahead and taking advantage of this fountain of joy. We'll plop that here in the center, but first I need to put down the impermeable flooring and some other things to get it underneath. And that should provide a good bump in our overall well-being for the beavers. So I think that's what we're going to do there. On top of getting some of these levees in, and I think I wanted, so I wanted to actually, on top of all that, put in some more Litos, put in a bunch more entertainment up here. I, I feel like that's the best bang for, the, for our buck for this entire uh, entertainment sphere up here. I would have really loved to have had the earth recultivator up here but i think i can squeeze that into one of these layers right here without any major consternation push comes to shove i can find another place for it i i don't know where that that would necessarily go but i think we're we're pretty happy with how everything panned out now I am going to pause the game here real quick so that they don't actually come up here and build any of this actually not do that and let's just delete this path right now they shouldn't be able to gain access to anything up here let's just throw down a floodgate and see if they can reach no they cannot reach all right so that gives us carte blanche authority to do whatever we need to do up here without causing any problem and still allows all of our beavers to do all the things over here and they are doing nothing because i didn't tell them that they could do that wooden stair right there that's the one thing that was holding them up so now all of these guys should get to work here and start throwing in all the things. And there they go. Look at them go. You gotta love it. You've got to love these little guys. They just get so, so freaking excited the moment you give them something. to do. All right. They're working. So that means that we can work over here. All right. Levies. I wanted to do Lido's and Lido's are four by three. So if we did something like this up here and then um i think what i want to do actually is make this a proper circle just like i did the uh the entire line down there so that's going to be something along like this or a five five wide i think it's five let's do five We'll do something like that, like that, like that, and then three, and then five. Okay, so that's not going to quite cut it. I'm going to pull that back one more back in here. This is why we plan things out, and we don't let the beavers come up here and do anything, so we can have all the time in the world and ha not have everything borked because I did all the planning wrong. All right, hopefully that's the right spot. We shall see. All right, that looks good. Okay, and I'm realizing that that's going to cause a problem, but not if we do that and that. And that's, we'll just have to accept that 
as it is a not three there it's supposed to be two please and thank you there we go and they should have access to everything without any issues in theory this is where i always threw these uh squares up it always throws me off when i try to do this so that's like that 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 there we go that's how we wanted to do that i'll just go ahead and do the same thing like that. okay then like so and i think that's how that's supposed to work yeah sweet boom boom and then that doesn't look right because that's supposed to be right there sweet so that's in now we can put in some of our Lido's up here and that should look a little something like this. We can put four in like that. And then we also need to give them a way in. So that means some stairs into here and then stairs on this side. And then we're going to want stairs back here we can garner access to all the things and then once we get this knocked out we can start throwing in all of the other fun and entertaining well-being things so i'm thinking we can do hmm so we could do showers. No, I don't necessarily want to do showers. So there's a lot of real estate right here that we take advantage of. I'm not entirely sure how we can take advantage of it. It, it just, it irks me that it's not symmetrical. Ick, it is, but it isn't. Yeah, I wish these were five wide as opposed to four wide. Uh, or have the potential to expand them to be five wide as opposed to four wide. That would make it fit my brain ball a little bit easier but alas it does not so we're just gonna have to accept that for what it is um what we can do is oh we do have to put in our fluid dump up here as well so let's go ahead and put one of those in we can call that right uh here i think that'd be the best place for that and we'll just go ahead and throw in our staircase right there and, and then we'll toss in all of our impermeable flooring so that we don't flood the stuff below us. And that should be Gucci. Come on. No, don't put that there. I believe I did check to make sure that we could actually put the... Uh, uh, what is it called? The Fountain of Joy on top of here i'm pretty sure i did that yes too far from district can't be built okay build more past all right sweet yes we can put that there on the impermeable flooring so that shouldn't cause any consternation no issues whatsoever what we can do is actually put some platforms in here though fill this in just a tad bit now i don't want to put clearly we can put in a few more do we fit Alito there? No, we can't put it. Uh, we could if we took this out. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What? Oh, yeah, I know why. All right, sweet. That's perfect. It's not perfect, but it's as good as we're going to get. We'll accept that. And we'll swap that just like so. Flip that around. Swap that into there. And that's beautiful just like that. Now, what we can do here is... Go ahead and toss in our Fountain of Joy. That should go right smack dab in the center, like so. And that will be beautiful. Then what else can we do here? Now, we can't really plant anything up here. Uh, no, we can't put any water or water... Uh, water food stuffs. Wow, I can... I can brain words those aren't the words i'm looking for we cannot put aquatic farm farming stuff in here at all but we 
I wish we could. That would look so cool. All right, we can't, so we'll just have to accept that for what it is. And now let's go ahead and tack in the rest of our well-being stuff so we can feed in to these little corners like this. All of our contemplation spots like this. Have a nice place to go contemplate reality. Well, we should put in some of these uh, wonderful wooden fences to, you know, protect our beavers from falling off, but kind of need the space, I think. I'm not entirely sure, but we shall see one way or another. All right. So we've probably, we've exceeded our capacity to fit. Uh, we could fit a few of these in. We definitely could. Um, or we could put dance halls here. No, we can't. Well, we could put it there. Not going to be able to get built for a minute. All right. That'll be something to hold off on the end. Now I was talking with, with the wife and she was trying to help me brainstorm some of this stuff, right? We could, we could in theory run power down here and we could put in some carousels back in this area and get some more entertaining stuff for them to do. Uh, and I kind of like that idea a, a little bit, a lot of it actually, but I'm not entirely sure how I'd like to fit all of that in. Uh, let's, let's throw in some more mud pits. Call that the corner here, the corner here. Put a mud pit here, 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 and I think that blocks that path up. We can't do that. And that should give us plenty of access, plenty of opportunities to get into all of that stuff. Rooftop terraces, since we are technically on a platform here, we can put these anywhere. Now, I'm not entirely sure how I want to place all these in here. But we can throw a few in without too much consternation. Now, I don't want to block access to all of this because this is more, more space for us to build more things, right? We're, we can run power up here however we wanted to. We can have all of the industry, like we could have an industrial row down this side. And then on this side, we can have the entertainment line coming down here. We have so many options available to us because, well, we've created a massive piece of real estate. Like, this is our piece of real estate. You can't take this away from us. It's it's perfection incarnate. Like, this is, this is the bridge to end all bridges to entertain the beavers for all of eternity. This is, this is amazing. This is really, this is glorious. And I'm slowly losing my mind but that's a different discussion different different point point to ponder if you will yeah let's go ahead and somehow wrap this path around here without taking up too much of our real estate that we do want to save for all the fun things right oh the game is so laggy with so much stuff being built on it okay all right How did do that over here? Um, that's in like that. That went down. So there's a staircase on this one. Call that right here, and we'll just pull this over like that. I can go in like that, and we'll pull this down to right here. Catch that one. Wrap around. Like this. And then run straight across like that. Game, come on, please stop fighting me. I know that there's a lot of path going on all around the world right now. And every single time that I put in another piece of path, you, you have a conniption fit. I'm going to need you to keep up with me. Just for a little bit, okay? All right. How hideous is that? Not too bad. This area could do with some work. 
Uh, how could I do this side? Oh, I see what the problem is. I didn't put, I don't know, a uh, contemplation spot. One right here. And then one right here. Yeah. Okay. That's easy there. And then, okay. I think the problem is this contemplation spot shouldn't be there. Now there's that one. It should be right here. And that should connect the path right there. And that means that this path goes away. No. It... Hey. Hmm. Why does it not work? Um... Is, is it... Am I losing my mind? Why? I think that's just going to have to be how it is. Just let, let it be. We'll let it be. We'll let it go. We'll let it go. They're working on the things. They're putting in all the levees now. I don't know why they're putting them in. It's such an awkward... Oh, it's because I placed these si this side down first. All right, we'll let them work on that. Let's get out of there here for a little bit. And we could probably transition a few of these haulers over to workers or builders because we're not hauling as much material around as we were before. I've got a lot of the, uh, that. The majority of that should be pretty positioned. And these guys are trucking. I am loving it. How are we doing? Still 1,600 units of uh, metal blocks. Planks are kind of taking a nasty hit as well as the logs, but that should be okay. This side, not looking the greatest. I think we're running... We're not necessarily running low on catalyst or anything. Just catalyst takes a long time or a lot to produce, and it takes a lot of material to produce it. It takes a lot of maple syrup, and we, we're definitely eating through our maple syrup over here. There are some back here that apparently I can't get to because the tapper shacks can't quite meet the demand as far as keeping up with the, the growth period for all of this. So they go in, they pull one thing of maple syrup from, uh, from each tree, and I'm not entirely sure what the timeline is for them to pull from one. So we're not quite keeping up with the, uh, the supply there. All of these were recently put in, so they've still got another 18 days before they can actually produce, or not 18, uh, 14 days before they can produce anything for us, which is fine. It's It just takes a little bit of time. One problem that I've been having is all these trees taking so long for them to actually come in and cut down. Now, it's not too much of an issue now because we are almost approaching our max capacity as far as all of that is concerned, so I'm not not upset by this we'll let that continue to work on in the background and let us see here what else can we be working on how are they doing on filling this side up this is almost enough i can actually unpause this and put another district on this side i don't have the bots necessarily to do that got a lot of bots doing nothing right here i think what's that 12 bots sitting there on their on their bums doing nothing. But they're going to be needed for something here shortly anyway. So I'll let them do what they need to do. And these guys are crushing it up here. You got to love to see it. That is beautiful. You got to love it. All right. So while they're working on all of that, let's go ahead and take a look. Let's cut through our slices here and pull this up one more and see what we can fit into here. Now, this is where things get fun. Now, do we want to put our monument right here? We can put our monument right here and then we can build on top of it. Put a dome on top of it, basically, and then let it go from there now the problem is this costs a metric ton of materials 
that that would basically eat through all of our sparky planks all of well not not all of our metal blocks but a a, a preponderance of our metal blocks and a, a third of our gears which isn't too bad we're keeping up with the supply on all of that now what i could do is probably build a few more of the uh workshops the wood workshops where are they right here could tack on a few more of these to help with the production line these guys are doing fairly well as far as productivity is concerned because we do have a metric poop ton of haulers running around which is very helpful in that regard uh let's see let's see let's see here i think how tall is this thing does it tell me how tall it is no it doesn't tell me how tall it is it takes 10 beavers to sit in it though huh interesting I would, I, I'm still annoyed by the fact that I can't put this on top of my tower here. Like, I built the tower specifically for the cultivator, and I should have confirmed that I could have placed it on top of the tower before I let them build it. That is entirely on me. I accept full responsibility for that, and yeah. I want, I'm going to put it here. It's there. It's in. Now, I'm going to pause it before they come up here and start building anything on it. And I'm going to see if I can build on top of it. Now, that in theory... Oh, it doesn't even show me the height of it. Okay. Okay. Can I... Here, let's pull this up a few more... Can I put this over top? No. Okay, can I go one higher? Well, obviously I can build on top of it because something is technically built on top of it right now. Like, we have a huge platform sitting on top of this thing. Need to know how high we need to go. All right, so that is... Okay, that's not too bad. That is kind of terrible. Jeez Louise. That is a huge. How much more space do we have left? <laughs> Barely any. Okay, well, uh, I guess that's what we got. And we're just going to have to accept that one. All right, let's unpause it, get things back to running, and drop this back down a little bit so we can see what's going on down here. And... Grab this, and we'll fill this in, I guess. That's about all we can do now. Step that for it, what it is. All right, and that is the wrong height. And we'll go ahead and throw in our doubles. And I think... Why is it feel wonky? I don't... I'm not entirely sure why that feels wonky. Oh, I know why. That's fine. Okay. And then that's two of those, and then one of those, and then this is two of those again, and then one of those. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, rinse and repeat. So you're queasy? No, that's that's a different case. Never mind. Disregard, guys. Okay, that's one too much. That's the end of that drought. That's good. That was a relatively short drought. I can't complain about that. Okay, that's the wrong size that i think we're gonna have to do one of those weird finagling things i don't like doing it it just does not fit very well but it fills the, the gap in i guess that's all that really matters all right so we'll go ahead, we'll do that on this side call it a four and we'll do Another four right here. Oh, I gotta tear out the platforms underneath it. Can't just do that. Hey, uh, that's the singles here. Four. Oh, I can't. Oh, can I do three? Can I do two? 
Okay. Do the twos here. Can I do the sixes here? I can. Okay. And then we'll just do that, I guess. It works. It's not pretty, but darn it, it works. Alright, and then all of those just go in like that. This down here, and then do the same thing. It looked weird. Okay, we're fine. We're fine? Are we at the right height? No. Didn't put the doubles in. Now we're at the right. I think. Hopefully. Okay, that goes there, there, and we'll do the same across, and we'll put the doubles in again, in, rinse, and repeat. You gotta love this whole monotony thing, the monotonous thing. But hey, it looks good in the end, that's all that really matters. Can't complain too much about it. When the fruits of your labor come to fruition and everything actually looks pretty good, you can't, you can't be upset by that, right? I'm not upset by it. I think it looks really freaking awesome. And everything's awesome when you're part of a team, darn it. That's what I tell myself to make myself feel better when I have to deal with weird people on teams. But that's a different story. Different story entirely. Okay, that goes there. That goes there. And you are three. 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 And then just a couple twos. This is unnecessary, but it makes it semi coherent, semi something. You know what we could do? Make it look a little bit more semi rational. Do something like this. I know it it it's not gonna be seen, but it looks cooler if we do this. Really? Oh, I forgot to put the thing. Uh, whoops. All right. Singles. Doubles. And then what's that? That? Yeah. And then that was a three. Boom. All right. That looks a little cleaner. And they should have access to all of that. Yeah, they've got the got all the access points. Now, this I think we need to pause. How much do, do I have? To, oh, only five grand to turn this into bots. Okay. Well, I'm still gonna pause that. Uh, you don't need to be built right now. We need to accrue a few more treated planks and some other things. So we'll let that continue doing in the background. That's good. You don't need to be in there right now, Smoo. Um, good, good. They are putting in all of the impermeable floors. Everything's looking Gucci. Everything's looking fantastic. You love to see it. You love to see it. Now, what we can do is put in... Oh, wow. Look at the progress that they are making on this. That is beautiful. Absolutely glorious. They are kicking butt and taking names. It was at... It was here. Last time... Or when we started it. It's been about 20 minutes now. And they are crushing it. And they're also crushing all of their materials. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I thought I turned off the distribution for all those things. Why are you bringing them in? Okay. That's fine. Uh, that needs to be of pain, of pain, prioritize, prioritize, pain, of pain, of pain. Get me the things, please. Prioritize of pain. There we go. Now, allegedly, that should help. Don't know why that was our not set appropriately. Like okay, so now it's twenty-four, and there we go. That should get all that in there. And hopefully that makes things go a little bit faster. What we can do is actually prioritize. 
this line and if we prioritize this line they should come in and build the staircases a little bit sooner and then that will give them more access points in theory to come in and do more stuff i think maybe i could be entirely wrong i could be smoking some some funny uh oh what is it biofuel and smoke some funny biofuel i don't know now another thing i could do is have them not work on all of these wooden fences that's not entirely necessary now one thing i don't like that there's not really a way to cover like you could put levees in front of these you could cover the holes that way or you could build just buildings in front of them that would be the in my coherent and or rational thing to do um but you can't I, I was trying to at one point I was trying to put some of these beautiful platforms underneath it and I was gonna build like uh some trusses underneath to give it some semblance of like you know st structural integrity for you know a bridge uh not an engineer but I I contemplate and I watch plenty of uh uh you know rce doing rce things right he's built bridges before allegedly and uh yeah you put you build with trusses and materials to it or tensile strength that's that's different discussion okay okay i'm just making stuff up at this point regard all <laughs> uh it's fine everything's fine you know what you guys don't need to be there. We could turn one of those on. And one of those on. There we go. Should still have plenty of haulers rolling around doing hauling things. Might have one of these sitting in here without the max capacity. Come on, game. Stop fighting me. All right. Cool moving along did i pause this i did pause it because i need them to put in the impermeable flooring how are we doing on the impermeable flooring can they reach all this no they cannot okay now can they yes no they need one more spot over I'll just give them more. They can't reach that one either, so we'll build that way. Now they should be able to put all of those things. No? Are you are you kidding me? Oh goodness gracious. Alright, fine. Destroy the Litos. Can't build through the Litos, because that that makes sense. It doesn't make sense, but whatever. They got to do what they got to do. Sadly, it thankfully it's just logs and planks, which we have quite a bit of. Just just a little bit of the logs and the planks, and well, honestly, everything else, because we've been stockpiling for a hot minute. All right, let's let them finish this up. We'll put the leaders back in. That shouldn't cause any problems. Uh, we can unpause this. Let them come in and put that in, I guess. Because they already... Already ruined everything else. We can unruin something. In theory. Um. Goes there, that goes there, that goes there, and that goes... Nope, I don't want that one facing that way. I want the stairs on that other side. Alright. Hit that button. Where was your path in? Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Stairs. And stairs. Sweet. Oh, that's supposed to have one more contemplation spot right there. And then get this path in like that. 
And that's brilliant. All right. Thought I unturned you off. Did I pause it again on accident? I know that this is the cultivator downstairs. That's why that's floating there. Which is a funny mechanic. If you build something on top of a uh, building, then it puts the little posse do button on top right there. Oh, hey, look. Would you look at... Oh. Uh, okay, I already blew that up. We blew that up already. No worries there, guys. Oh, wow. They are cooking. <laughs> oh, that might be a tad bit excessive, a tad bit unnecessary, but now they've got all the access points in the world, or at least the ability to continue building even without anything to do. So in theory, we should have nobody down here that on their bum. Yeah, those are all empty. They're all out here. Sweet. Sweet. Okay, these guys are doing good. They're moving all the material. This is kind of being held up somewhere. This should give them, like, little uh, food stops. I should put food and water up here because that would be the smart thing to do. So we'll go ahead and do that. I'll uh, put some water there, some water there. Um... Yes, we can put some biofuel right there, and then we'll put some foodstuffs right here, and here, and here, and there. To be Gucci. Go ahead, we'll make that, 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 and you will be water. Water, please. You will be biofuel. Swap over to this side. You will be water. You will be... Go with grilled spatter dock. You will be... Bread. And we'll go with the... Uh, catalyst on this side. That should not cause any consternation. Not entirely sure what's holding... Our... No, we're not out of wheat. No way we're out of wheat. Yeah, we're nowhere near being out of wheat. I'm glad to see that this worked. This is working for the most part. Like this, I finally figured out how to manipulate the sluice cases well enough. Sluice gates well enough to allow enough water to come down here to feed into these down here. So it looks freaking awesome. Like in, in all reality, it doesn't do much except for fill or splash down a little bit every once in a while. So you get a little waterfall action, which is pretty freaking cool. It fills in the... Uh, the little river that runs through and irrigates all of that side of the land. And this side closes when this side's a little bit too full. And then when enough of it spills over this side... Uh, okay, maybe I did just, just a tad bit. Okay, stop flooding. At least it all floods in. Hopefully. Hopefully we don't lose any of it. Okay. 0.95. Open it up. Come on. No, 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 no. We're not. It's open. Okay. We didn't lose any water. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool story, bro. Noted. Now, this will be a test to see how full this gets. Because this is the first max temperate cycle. Obviously. Since we started recording, and this is and since that the first time I've had a max tempered cycle since this was all built, so that's good. This is going in really nicely. That is brilliant. This is going in really nicely, so that's even more brilliant. Metal blocks are moving. Treated planks are done. Planks are done almost. Okay, two hundred more planks to go. Could tack on something to help out. Just a. Uh, a little bit. Tell them to max prioritize this. And bring that supply in. What else do we need? Metal blocks. Throw in a small pile for metal blocks and have them do the same thing. 
I don't know if this will actually help out a lot, but a guy can hope. I do need to throw in this last Lido that I forgot to put in right here. And boom. Now they can do all that. That'll look good. That'll look brilliant. We'll go ahead and unpause this. So uh, Charmander can come in here and come fill some of this stuff up for us. Let's swap that out for a bot so they can maintain that for a prolonged period of time. All of the, well, portion of the, what are they called? Contemplation spots are open now, so that's good. They're working. He's filling it in. We got, who do we have in here? We got Timberbot 1366 filling this up. You got to love to see it. What, what I could do is put in like little, like now that would, there's no way I could keep up with the demand. <laughs> it would just pour in and dump out. And we don't want that happening. All right. Let's see. That's all going in. I need you guys to bring all these materials up here. Please and thank you. That would be great. By the time they do any of that, then it'll be a moot point because the only thing left is actually plank. Yeah, there is no point in building that. Oops. Okay, let's see here. Now we can check on this bad Johnny. What does this require? 2,000 treated planks, 1,500 metal blocks, and 2,000 gears. All of that is right here. That shouldn't be that hard for them to get all that up. Problem is the treated planks. All right, let's fix that. Let's go ahead and throw in our additional wood workshops. I'm not sure where we can where we should pass those in. Alright, there's oh it's a it's a short one. Hey look, we got happy beavers. Really happy beavers. Heck yeah. Alright, well we got a short bad tide. And we got some really happy beavers. Like, that's, that's best of both worlds right there. And we're about to have a metric poop ton of juice. So much power is about to be flowing through here. Ah, oh, it's going to be great. All these, all these uh, wonderful gravity batteries doing great things for us. I never did actually finish blasting all this out. I was working on it slowly, but then I kind of lost interest in coming back over here every 20 minutes and after I'd already forgotten about uh, placing them in. So I guess we can. I don't know if I have any builders over here. But we can try. One problem I did run into during uh, during the entire stint that I was waiting for everything to show up was ran out of explosives doing that massive uh build over there because i didn't have any storage for any of the explosives for the longest time and so i had like 400 explosives sitting around waiting for for me to do something with them but i and i left somebody actually actively in the um in the explosives manufacturer or in explosives factory I left somebody actively in there for the longest time and they just sat on their bum doing nothing because there was nowhere to actually store any of the explosives they could have been producing. So that's why this guy sat doing nothing, productivity nothing, because I don't have any place to store it. But I don't really have a need for explosives, honestly, so I don't know. But that's in. Look at that. That looks fan-freaking-tastic. I love to see that. That is so cool. We got, oh, what we could do is we could uh, change this to dirt. Yeah, bring us dirt. We need dirt. That is, that is what we need. Just take the metal away. I don't need metal for anything else, I don't think. But yeah, that just needed created planks. All right, stop getting distracted, me. 
I believe in you. I don't really. You're so easily distracted me. Stop it. Get some help. At least that's what I like to tell myself, but I can't. I'm playing with my beavers. And you can't judge me. I can. I can judge you. Because you're me. Alright, I'm... Um, I am slowly losing my mind. Okay, disregard everything that just transpired the past 30 seconds, okay? Don't worry about a thing. Alright, put in those explosives, please, and thank you. What are we doing over here? Ooh. Where did all our treated planks go? Got 2,000 of them. Probably all sitting right here. Oh. Where are all the treated planks? I better not see all of them sitting right here. Okay, good. Okay, game, stop fighting me, please. Thank you. Um, There's 155. We have 2,000 of them. Where are they at? Okay. Zero there. 1200 Created point. Okay, there's 1500 right there. All right, that makes sense. That's that's not a problem. Uh let's go ahead and pop this up on the priority list because they will continue to build everything up here uh, as as they are want to do because I told them to do this in the first place. So that's on me. Uh, oh, you know what? I didn't put this in. Let's see here. Not science, well-being, rooftop terrace. That's probably why it looks so weird to me. Maybe, maybe not. Probably not, but now that's in, so that's good. Fill that. Grab that. And do the same thing right here. And right here. Come on, Path. I believe in you. Look at that. It looks so cool. Alright, let's destroy this path in here without breaking everything. Yes. 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 For that. And we can get this. Beautiful. Absolutely brilliant. You love to see it. And that guy should have the capacity to keep doing all those things. Can prioritize these guys' colors. They're not gonna actually come up here and play in them for a minute, I doubt. It's a long trek to get up here in the first place. But we can go ahead and tell them to put the haulers on it so they can come in here and hang out whenever they want to. I'm not one to stop them. We'll just let them do whatever they want to do. Wait, that is ready for an explosion. And then we can tear out this right here. And throw in, I know it, it just worked all the things, but we need to put that in there. And you will be max priority and you'll be a bot. Please and thank you. Now, a smart person would do something like drop this down and put this on, uh, put this underground and build platforms on top of it instead of, you know, relying or hamstringing ourselves to a small little plot of land like that but that's again what a smart person would do and we've proven time and time again i'm not exactly the smartest or brightest crayon in the box okay don't you worry about it full did this kit i got pretty full tile in the quarter do i have you guys turned on Probably, no? Yeah. Okay, well, let's fix that. You can actually, you know, do your job. That one tile? Yeah, this one. Okay. Well, that'll let that water in. I still need to take advantage of this, because this is a lot of water just sitting here not doing anything for us. Um, so, probably build a path out to here, since it's all level now. I wonder if I can... Can I go any deeper? Oh, that's as deep as it goes. Uh, yeah. And just pump it all out. Because that's... Uh, 
<laughs> a few thousand units of water maybe that we could pull out and pump into our little like rivers down here so we can continue to expand our uh our stuff right these finally are growing up so that's good it's gonna take another nine days for them to produce anything for us i do, do need to confirm that i'm not cutting them down erroneously need to confirm that i'm cutting down the er appropriate stuff though okay that's good that's good nothing's borked over there i did forget to cut and mark you guys go ahead and do that i think you guys can reach that you can sweet beautiful 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 why aren't you guys actually eating this oh i didn't tell you to eat any of that okay uh we'll mark all that gosh because we can i don't think you can reach all that but hey it's free lumber might as well take it when we can sweet let's turn on this builder's hut because we have four bonus bots running around doing nothing and let's see where they are run off to let's grab one of these guys number about 1344 what are you doing bud hey you are oh you're helping out with that why are you helping out with that huh okay wow that's made quite a bit of progress that is absolutely insane i am stoked that is so awesome that is beautiful <laughs> that is so freaking awesome i love to see it oh that is so cool if they okay let's look at it from this side so we don't see that little overhang there yeah look at that oh it's amazing oh they're kicking butt they're moving lumber they're moving metal blocks in they're moving planks in and it's just moving it's, it, they're already up here they're already here they've attached it we're attached now, I do need to, you know, give this stuff priority over this because they'll continue to help out with that instead of, you know, building the stuff that's on their side of the the aisle, if you will. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Otherwise, it'll never get accomplished because that's a, still a huge build that needs to get taken care of in the background. All right. That's all in. That's all prioritized. Um... Dirt's here and readily, readily available. I, I wonder if there's a better way to snake or get this farewell up here. I don't know. Let that work. Check on you. How are we doing? You've got about an 86 prior productivity rating. That's not bad. Do we have enough gears that I could tear out one of these gear workshops? Probably. Yeah, I, I paused six of them over here, right? Or no, I paused those. Uh, why aren't they haulers? Okay, I don't think I need that mini gear workshops. So, let's see here. Can I... I don't think I can fit any in here and the the pathing to get back into there would be why am i trying to do that what i am thinking like a pleb that can't put stuff on top of all of this stuff what am i doing sha i have the technology you burr all right let's pause it i think this has to be a two yeah let me get that gonna have to be a two all right and we'll grab this and no it's gonna have to be a three okay a three and like that yeah okay and we'll feed the power in from back here i think is what that'll make that the simplest and then can i fit those tanks under here i cannot okay so let's see here let's Let's rationalize this. 
little bit better. All right. So we'll do twos across here. And then we'll do twos like this. And sixes like that. Swap them out to that side. And that puts us in an awkward position. So let's go ahead and unpause it now since we have a general idea as to how it wants to do this. So let's call that right there. We'll do uh, our threes right here. Like that and like that. And then this is going to be, how wide is that? That's four that's what we need there yeah that's, that goes like that and then we do six on top like so and then on top of all that go ahead and throw in another line right here if the game would stop fighting there we go good job game don't fight me anymore it's not good for my health it's not good for yours all right, there we go. Now we have a brand new platform to do all the stuff on. And we can just, we could even, well, I kind of want to feed the power in from up there. All right, that's fine. Now that's just going to require some planks and some logs and uh, metal blocks, which we should still have a good portion of. All right, so that's in. And let's go ahead and tack on more of these wood workshops we want this back line to be wood workshops that's not what we want there okay might be too many i think we're okay so we don't need to go this far this makes things easier and save ourselves some materials that'll be great that'll be huge okay that goes like that and then we're gonna have path in between them go oh, to no good yeah i think that's fine okay see that is wood workshops and we can throw in some more printing presses match up our Oh, come on. Stop fighting me every step of the way. I would not have paper mill. Printing press. Now, this brings up an interesting problem because I believe these require two workers. And this requires one worker. And we're kind of peak. Uh, peak beaver population. Uh, let's see here. We can transition some of the metal workers over to this stuff. Because we're still sitting relatively pretty. Or, well, this all can... Well, no, that doesn't all have to go away. Because it kind of looks nice now. We can clean some of this up. So that can go over here. And that'll save us some, some positions and everything. Okay. Let's see. What else did we want up here? here more production stuff metal we can do some smelters i just said we're going to put some or tear some more of those out so let's just go ahead and we'll do a full line of smelters and then on this side we can put in some more of these paper mills paper mills are oddly shaped which is mildly infuriating infuri infuriating but we can make that fit. You know what we could do is put in some more grist mills as well. Because we haven't really been keeping up with the requirements for that. Flip that. That. Nope. Not there. Okay. No. Not there. Not putting it in the same spot. Okay. That goes there. That goes there. And there actually that one's not supposed to be like that all right crystal mill 
wrong rotate. That's the right rotate. And then that like that. And then we just grab this power line right here. Connect all of these up like that. And that should be everything. Now, once we have this built, and uh, I guess, well, once all that's done too, we can pause even more of these. Like that's another 16 bots right there that we can put them into positions working over here. And they haven't touched any of that yet because, well, this is still going on up here and they're kind of helping out with all this too. But that's going down. That is going down. Just, just doing wonders, guys. Beautiful. Absolutely glorious. Oh, you guys. Uh, you a path. You a path. Need to tell you guys to finish that. That's no longer giving me any angst. We got guys up here actually swimming. Who's up here? I see you. We got Jay in here. We got Jake the snake. Oh, I, Jake's even... Jake has gotten a tattoo. Look at his tail. Look at Jake with his tail. He got a tattoo. Looks pretty Gucci, dude. Looks pretty Gucci, Jake. I appreciate you. I appreciate you doing wonderful things for Beaver Kind. This is so cool. This is so freaking awesome. Alright. I think... Yeah, we're out of logs. We're out of metal blocks. Logs are moving in. It's just... We're hamstrung here on this side. There's logs in there. I just need to get bots over here to help out maneuver more of that stuff around. I think if it's sitting here, these guys won't go and get more. Which... Which is not helpful. Can you guys finish that? It just needs a log. Please and thank you. Alright, there we go. That's done. This can be deleted now, I think. Probably even delete that. I don't think that's necessary. The haulers can do hauling things. They can do all the things that they need to do whenever they need to do it. That's cool. Alright. Well, I think what we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to sit back and relax. And we're going to watch this finish off. Now, guys, I do appreciate you wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much for coming in and enjoying some Timberborn action with me and enjoying this mega build into the sky. The bridge to end all bridges. The bridge to make anybody cry. We have taken the beavers from just being dam builders to being bridge builders. They have exceeded every beaver's dream, expectations, anything that you could imagine. They've taken it so far. And I appreciate you all coming along this journey with me. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, please hit that like button. If you have not already subscribed, I would appreciate that as well. We are on a track to 1,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. And I appreciate you all being along the journey with me. Now, I'm going to get out of here. We're going to watch them finish it all, this all up. And I'll catch you all in the next episode of Timberborn where we finish the rest, the other side of the bridge, and tackle some more of the challenges that await us. Appreciate you all. I'm repeating myself, so that means it's time for me to go. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of the speed up montage. See ya!